What does the Bible say about men who leave their families and chase after bad women? The Bible does have a lot to say, and I'm not going to read it all to you. I'm going to the book of Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 6. There the Bible says, For at the window of my house I looked through my casement and beheld among the simple ones. What kind? I beheld among the simple ones. I discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding. And in the margin it says, lacking common sense. Passing through the street near her corner. And he went the way to her house in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot. That's the way they dress. Too tight and too short and too low. The woman met him with the attire of a, a harlot and subtle of heart. That means deceitful and tricky. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now she is without, now in the streets, and lieth in wait at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him, and with an impudent face, trying to look romantic, with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me. This day have I paid my vows. Therefore came I forth to meet thee. That's a lie. She wanted to meet anybody she could. Therefore came I forth to meet thee diligently to seek thy face, and I have found thee. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved works, with fine linen of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our feel of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with love, for the good man is not at home. My husband is not home. He's gone on a long journey. He took a, ba a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He goeth after her straightway as an ox goeth to the slaughter, or as a fool to the correction of the stocks, till a dot strike through his liver. The good man went so far after all came home and caught him and drove a switchblade through his liver. The Bible says that man was a fool. Whoever committeth adultery, the Bible says, is a fool. It perverts and corrupts the mind. It destroys the home. It hurts and bruises and wounds a good woman. And the thing that amazes me is most men who do it leave a jewel and find something that isn't worth dragging home. <laughs> and degradation and degeneracy sets in. And the minute you start it, your wife becomes unattractive. As she gets older, you become more and more critical. More and more wrinkles, more and more gray hair. She's given you her youth, but because you fool around, she doesn't look so good. Now, really, somebody said about a man, it, it works with women too. Same thing, and there are plenty of women who are unfaithful to their husbands. And when you start it, the devil creates a kind of excitement, and your own mate becomes unattractive. As you grow older, you ought to grow up. There's never a time that a good woman is not attractive if her husband loves her.